up. Hands down, this is the most excited I have ever been for a video. Hi, hello, my name is Natalie. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And today, we are finally reviewing the vegan Z-Star Zaman Sashimi. Now the reason I am so unbelievably excited about this is because when I went vegan, the hardest thing for me was giving up raw fish. Now that is not a normal thing. Most people don't have that problem, but I did. And I literally have dreamed, I have dreamed for the day that I could finally have a vegan raw salmon in my hands. I mean, I don't even know if it's good yet, but like just the fact that like we're getting there right now is like mind blowing to me. I cannot wait until this is like a normal thing in sushi places. You can only get it online, unfortunately, at the moment. But let me tell you guys, I literally just prepared all of these and it was insane. The way it looks, it looks so much like raw salmon. So I went all out on this and I wanted to do it three different ways so we could taste test the different ways you can make this. I wanted to show the versatility and stuff that you can do. So for this first one, I did a bagel and lox. So what I did was I toasted up a bagel. I used Kite Hill Chai Cream Cheese because that is my favorite vegan cream cheese. And I figured the chives would add a little extra to this. Then what I did was I cut up the vegan salmon pretty thin and I made like a little marinade. So what I put in here was a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, and a little bit of oil. And I just mixed that in. And then I dipped the little vegan salmon in it just to kind of marinate it around. I wanted that oil to kind of give you that oil butteriness that like normal raw fish gives you. And then I figured the Worcestershire would kind of give you that smokiness of when you get like smoked salmon on a bagel. And obviously the tamari to just give it that kind of like saltiness of the fish. And then I topped it with the vegan marinated salmon. And then on top I added some capers like people normally would do. So then on this next one, I made a hand roll. I figured I could make sushi rolls but I feel like a hand roll was cute and it's good for like a little taste test so what I did here with the vegan salmon was I decided to put it in like a vegan spicy mayo so of course I used veginase and then I put a little bit of sriracha in there mixed it up and then I cut this one a little bit different I cut the vegan salmon in cubes and then I put that into the sauce that I made and mixed it around and then when I started to make the hand roll I also added in some cucumber in there for a little bit of crunch and I think it turned out really well and then for this one I did a little bit simpler I did it sashimi style so I cut them not too thick but not too thin and then I made a little sauce and I used tamari I used sesame oil I used regular oil I used lemon juice and lime juice just to give it that fresh flavor and then I topped it with a little bit of lemon and then I just poured that on top so this is the raw product with nothing on it it's really cool looking it honestly looks so real it is a little bit more dense feeling than normal sashimi would be, but honestly, like it has bounce on it. It squishes just like it normally would. It's kind of crazy. It doesn't really smell like anything, but I did want to give this a taste just on its own. I don't think I'm gonna actually like it raw, but I feel like for this taste test, I kind of have to do that like base taste. So, oh my God. Oh my God, that texture. Wow. What? That is insanely close to what real sushi grade salmon texture wise feels like. There's not much of a taste. Like it kind of tastes like something, but like I'm not really sure what. <laughs> but the texture, wow. This is gonna be crazy. I'm like even more excited now. So. I'm actually gonna start over here, the more simple side of just the sauce, just so I can get a taste of it. It's honestly turned out really pretty, so I'm excited about this one. So this is our first one, just our regular sashimi. What? That is crazy. The sauces completely convince you that you're eating regular sashimi. The texture convinces you that you're eating raw sashimi. The only thing is that again, it's like a little bit more dense than a regular sushi grade fish would be. But this is totally convincing. Wow. So let's move on to the hand roll. This one looks really cute. I was so proud of myself. Ooh. Cheers. Guys, I'm being so dramatic, but like I wanna cry. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm so dramatic. That is so 
close to the real thing. If I gave this to somebody, there's no way they would question it. No way. We are about to give out some high ratings here. I am just like contemplating life and how much I am like, proud to be a vegan today. And like, if I can make it taste this good, can you imagine how restaurants are gonna do it? Like once they get a hold of this. So let's do the last and final one, the bagel lox chips. You know I'm like happy with it when I don't even gotta think about it. That is so good. Guys, I think for the first time, I am at a loss for words. Everything about this is so incredibly convincing. I think obviously the more you kind of dress it up, the better it gets. But even this was impressive to me. It's not totally there for me, but these, I mean, these are blowing me away. All right, so let's get to rating. If I were to make one of these again, rating it out of like third place to first place, I think obviously I put this in the number three spot. And then I think actually I would put this in number two and this in number one, which is weird because like I didn't eat a whole lot of bagel and lox before like going vegan. I liked it, but I just think because I dressed this up so much, it just tricks your mind even more into thinking that this is like the real thing, which is why people buy these products, you know? Some vegans don't like that kind of stuff. If that's not your thing, then this product isn't for you. I would never buy this on a daily. It's more of a specialty item. I definitely would rate this product itself a nine out of 10 breads. I'm very happy with it. Obviously, I think that in the next couple of years, they're gonna get to that 10 out of 10 status, but definitely try this out. Try out different variations of it. I had a lot of fun actually, like finding different ways to use this, and I was super impressed with it. All right, you guys, well, other than that, thank you so much for watching. I know I got a little too excited about some of this, but if you have ever missed something after going vegan, I hope you can empathize to my excitement here. Um, <laughs> please like this video down below if you enjoyed it and comment and let me know what I should try next and subscribe if you haven't yet I upload every single week usually on Fridays I'll see you next time